Welcome, I'm Enrico Maraskin. I'm a pediatrician practicing in Morningside in South Africa. This is my passion, little children. I love seeing children in their natural setting, learning, discovering, going to school, playing sport and staying happy. Here we have the vaccine schedule that is uh, produced by the Pediatric Management Group of South Africa and we can see from the schedule, very busy slide and by the time the child gets to 12 years of age we see that there are lots of injections and lots of holes in this poor child's skin. However, on the left hand column we have a long list of illnesses which we're going to consider today. Measles. Measles is one of the most contagious uh, illnesses known to humans and uh, it has a 90% transmission rate to individuals who are susceptible to the illness. Outbreaks have been associated with refusal of vaccination and illnesses manifest with uh, high, high fevers, conjunctivitis, severe cough, runny nose, muscle pain and rash. Patients become immune suppressed and uh, due to that fact are susceptible to secondary bacterial infections. Uh, the illness can also cause encephalitis of the brain and can cause blindness. Globally, measles remains one of the leading causes of death in young children. A rare complication, subacute sclerosing panencephalitis or abbreviated to SSPE, is uh, a devastating uh, consequence. So SSPE, SSPE results from a prolonged measles infection that leads to the degeneration of the whole brain. In our pictures we have children um, that, that have measles. In the top picture is a child who, whose eyes are severely uh, affected by the infection which is characteristic of the illness. Uh, and the other two children display uh, the, the characteristic rash. One of the uh, not so pleasant memories I have of my student lives was my first day in the paediatric ward at the Chris Harney Barry Barnworth Hospital where there was a child who suffered just such a rash. And when I walked into the isolation cubicle in Ward 33 at uh, Chris Harney Hospital, this child honestly didn't look like it was going to make it. Fortunately, due to uh, dedicated care of the staff at the hospital, the child did pull through. But after a very uh, tough admission, uh, which uh, certainly is not pleasant for children to experience. Later in my career, I also came across a, a patient who suffered SSPE and basically the child was rendered completely dysfunctional and uh, not able to perform any tasks whatsoever having suffered this disease. So, having considered the facts pro and con vaccination, what is your decision? I came across this side on the internet. I consent to being forcibly restrained and injected with multiple viral strains, preservatives and heavy metal adjuvants. Said no baby ever. Having looked at all the facts in our talk, you can see that the effects or side effects of the vaccine are very small if one compares it to the devastating effects of the illnesses that we deal with. If we have a look at the right hand slide, we have a child who's fully immunized and protected against these life-changing illnesses. In my opinion, if I had to choose, I would choose to vaccinate my children fully with the knowledge that we are placing these children at risk if we don't vaccinate. 
So thank you for joining me, uh, Enrico Maraskind, uh, in this uh, discussion. I hope I've uh, shown you the reason for my passion for controlling the disease processes that uh, we vaccinate against. And I hope it will give you some insight uh, into making your own decision of whether to vaccinate or not vaccinate.